Hello everyone, welcome to Math Cognizant. This is a continuation of my previous video where we have discussed how to solve a one step equation. This video reviews how to solve two step equations. Before solving the problems, let's see what does a two step equation means. It's an algebraic equation that requires two step to solve any question that's called as two step equation. To do so, we always need to review about the inverse operations. So inverse of addition is subtraction, inverse of multiplication is division. To solve these type of questions, you should break the equation into two steps. So the first step will be either adding or subtracting. And the second step will be either multiplying or dividing so whenever the equation is being given then you should add or subtract first and then the next step you need to multiply or divide and find the value of the variable and don't forget to do the checking or verification of your answer let's start with the first question you can see there is a multiplication as well as addition sign here it's an addition equation so we need to do the opposite or inverse operation that is subtraction right let me write down the equation as it is and then subtract 5 from both the side of the equal sign so it's going to be minus 5 and minus 5 which get cancels and it's left with x equals to 56 61 minus 5 is equals to 56 so always start with addition or subtraction then the equation become 8x equals to 56 now it's a multiplication equation so you need to do the inverse of it that's the division so we have to divide 8x by 8 and 56 by 8 we need to divide with the same number on both the side so you will get the answer as x equals to 56 divided by 8 is 7 therefore the value of variable x in this equation is 7 let's verify the answer is true or false to do so we need to write the equation as it is 8x plus 5 equals to 61 and then we need to substitute the value of x equals to 7 in this equation. So in place of x, we are going to write 8 times 7 plus 5 equals to 61. Now you need to follow the order of operation. Please watch my video about this topic to solve the questions where there are more than one operator. Here we need to multiply first and then we need to add so 8 times 7 is equals to 56 56 plus 5 that's equals to 61 on the right hand side write it as it is in the next step 56 plus 5 gives you 61 so 61 is equals to 61 both the side it's equal that means what your answer is true now Let's solve the second uh, equation and it is a subtraction equation. When you have a subtraction equation, you need to do the inverse operation that is addition. So you need to add 8 on both the side of equals. And when you simplify it, 8 minus 8 gets you 0. So 3a is left on left hand side and 4 plus 8 gives you 12. So 3a equals to 12 is the equation. Now it's a multiplication equation. So let's do the second step that is dividing. Inverse of multiplication is division. So divided by 3 on both the sides so that we can keep the variable a alone. We don't need any coefficient with the variable because we are finding the value of a here. So a equals to 12 divided by 3 that is equals to 4. Let's do the verification if this uh, if the value of a equals to 4 is correct or wrong. Let's write down the equation as it is. In place of a substitute the value a equals to 4 so 3 times 4 minus 8 equals to 4. 
Follow the order of operation and do the multiplication first. 3 times 4 equals to 12 minus 8 equals to 4 on the right hand side. So 12 minus 8 equals to 4 and on the right hand side is also 4 that is equal. Both the numbers are equal so the answer is correct. The value of a equals to 4 is true. In the next question we have division as well as addition. So we need to do the addition uh, property first and do the inverse of it that is subtraction. Subtract 4 from both the side so it get cancelled. Um, on left hand side it's left with c over 7 equals to 9 minus 4 is 5. Now this is a division equation where we need to do the inverse operation that is multiplication. We need to multiply 7 on both the side of equals. So 7 times c over 7 equals to 5 times 7. 7 and 7 get cancelled. On left hand side it's left with c equals to 7 times 5 equal that is 35. Let's do the checking of it by writing the equation c over 7 plus 4 equals to 9. In place of c substitute the value as 35. So 35 over 7 plus 4 equals to 9. Again follow order of operation division comes before the addition so divide 35 by 7 that gives you 5 5 plus 4 equals to 9 so 5 plus 4 equals to 9 on the other hand is also 9 so the equation is true for the value of c equals to 35 one more question is also with the division and addition here we need to eliminate 4 first so on left hand side it's left with x over 3 equals to 5. Now it's a division equation. We need to do the inverse operation that is multiplication. We need to multiply 3 on both the side of equal. 3 from numerator and denominator get cancelled. On left hand side it's left with um, x equals to 5 times 3 is equals to 15. Let's do the verification of this answer. In place of x write down 15. 15 over 3 15 divided by 3 plus 4 equals to 9. Simplify 15 and uh, 3 that gives you 5. 5 plus 4 equals to 9 on left hand side. 5 plus 4 is equals to 9 which is equals to 9 which is present on the right hand side. So the value of x equals to 15 is true. Here are the rules and steps to follow when you are solving two step equations. So make sure to use the inverse operation and at first you need to do addition and subtraction and the next step you need to do multiplication and division and also follow the order of operation when you are verifying your answer. Hope you understood this concept. Please like, subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos.